Okay, well, I happen to be waiting for glue to dry, so I thought we would, uh, let's make something quick and easy. Well, I was at Rockler one day, and I found one of these little kits. I found this Bartender's Bottle Opener Hardware Kit, so you get your stainless steel, and it's actually even um, food grade stainless steel, it claims, and a little pin for attaching the uh, scales to. So basically all you need to do is find your wood and put the darn thing together. So, and while I was there, I'm not sure why they were so extra friendly to me, but the guy insisted on printing out instructions for me. And I think it's pretty straightforward on how this goes together. And you don't even have to use this rod. You can just glue it right to the metal and have solid wood. However, the, um, I guess, most important part is right here, they give you the three templates. Um, these are just suggestions, three different styles, but you can make it any way you want. And I'm going to probably be adapting something kind of along the lines of the first and the second, since um, I'm going to use this orange agate I happen to have. Well, it turns out this isn't wide enough to go too far up, or I would probably do something similar to like it's this here, where it kind of curves around. However, you can still do that. It just means you have to be back further. So I'm going to still have a little curve in here. Since this was one piece and I split it down the middle. And my reasoning is that I would like to have somewhat of a book match piece on both sides. I don't know why that matters, but that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put this together. Okay, well, um, sometimes I'm actually happy when I'm wrong. And it turns out this piece, I mean, it doesn't completely cover the steel on both sides. But um, actually, it's it's... Better than I expected. I used a Fostner bit, cut out the same diameter because I was going to slide it back so you would still match the curve. But this is going to allow me to go up. I'm going to be trimming that down or sending it down. I'm not going to go that far in because I think that will hinder its ability to work correctly. If you get into this area, you know, you don't want to go that high. It's going to be down here, but this just gives me extra material. Never a bad idea to have extra material. However, on the bottom part, which is just a ring, I'm going to completely cover this. So now the art's going to be, or the skill, is it's pretty important that I need to get the hole right here. Even though, as I've stated, this piece of um, agate is not wide enough, I could force this thing to work. There's nothing wrong with you sanding. Just because it's stainless steel, you can still sand it. I could actually grind the metal to the point that the metal and the wood are one and the same. Okay, if there's a hard way, I will certainly find it. I've basically got the general shape laid out. Got the hole drilled. I decided to be smart and I'm glad I did because trying to get these two lined up because a Fussner bit one inch is what these holes are. If you're really good, you can make it perfect. So I decided to use some smarts and went the next step smaller, a seven eighth, eighth inch hole. That way, once I glue this on, I'll just sand to the metal in there and then it'll be a perfect, perfectly spaced hole. So here's what the general shape's going to look like. So what we're going to do now is we'll separate the two scales and we glue one on to the body. And then what you're supposed to do after that is you'd flip it over, put this on some sacrificial board, and you drill your four holes. Then you'll glue the other piece on. And then you flip it over again and then drill the holes back through. And then that's when we insert our pin. And then the fun begins. Lots of sanding.
So here it is in all its glory. What I wanted to point out was really the only flaw in their instructions, and it's one of the very first steps you're supposed to do. Um, it tells you, you know, using one of their templates or one of your own, you create your general shape that you want your scale to be. Okay, then the next step is you take that scale and you're going to glue it to the opener. That's where they made the mistake. What I suggest you do, and I'll explain why in a second, is take the scale on whatever side you want it to be on, clamp it to the steel first, and then you'll flip it over, and this side will be the exposed steel, and then you're going to see you'll have four holes. What I would do at that point is then actually drill the four holes. At the very least, drill two holes diagonally. That way, the piece will be locked into position. And why I'm saying that is because then, when you glue the scale on, it's going to have some register pins, some pins to lock it into its place. This is the problem I had. I took the scale, followed the instructions, set it on here, glued it, and you're most likely going to use, obviously you're not going to use wood glue, it won't work. You have to use either epoxy, or in my case, I used the uh, DAP Products Rapid Fuse, which I'm pretty sure is just a type of super glue, but it has a very quick setting time. And what happened was, is I put the glue on, I clamped the piece on, and as many might expect, if you're already experienced, but for a rookie like me, I was unexpecting it, is it slid, it started to slide a little bit, a lot more than I wanted as I would apply pressure. And I think just because of the wood on the steel, it was much slicker than wood to wood. So what ended up happening is, you can't see it on that side, on this side, it's almost hard to tell. As someone who, you could probably see how there's more of a gap here than there is here. Well, what ended up happening is as I clamped it on, it started to slide. So I started to reposition it. I was able to position it a couple times. And when I tried to do a little bit more, it had already set. So I basically was stuck with that position. So that right there is the biggest mistake in their instructions. And I, I'm even thinking of uh, Ryan Rockner saying they should add that tip in is pin, at least drill at least two holes, like I said, before you glue so that you can use the pin to align where this goes so you know you'll have perfect spacing if you've already cut out your shape. So, so thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing, smash that like button, and until next time, you take care.